What is going on my mobs? It's your boy Callum up and welcome back to another Spider-Man PS4 video. In this video we're going to be going over how long is Spider-Man PS4 along with any microtransactions and how many gigabytes do you require to play this game. So if you guys are hype, you know what to do and let's get a light into this. All this information comes to you via Twitter, via James Stevenson, one of the creative directors, and he said, there's no microtransactions, I'm pretty sure you've already known that, but the paid story DLC, which is the City Never Sleeps, is going to include new mission challenges and suits, and they could possibly come out with another story DLC if they wanted to. So how long is Spider-Man PS4? Well, according to one of the average playtesters, it took them around 20 hours on default settings just playing the main story. And it spent, it, they spent a lot longer doing the side quests and activities and crimes and stuff. So it really varies on person to person how long you want to play this game for. If you want to play it fast, you could probably get it done in like 15, maybe 20 hours. And uh, if you want to take your time and actually enjoy this game, it's going to obviously take you a lot longer. I personally believe this is a pretty good length for a Spider-Man game. We all know that Spider-Man games tend to be pretty short in story. Okay, so now how many gigabytes do you require to play this game? Well, James C Stevenson says you need 45 gigabytes and probably a bit more with the patches and updates and stuff. It was also on the back cover of the game that was leaked a while back ago. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video informative and I'll see you mobs next video.